Hey there, this is a simple demo of showing you how you can get Git push to deploy on your EKS cluster. So I already have an EKS cluster set up. This is a three node cluster and I have a repository which is a mono repo. So I have my source code, my Docker file and my Kubernetes manifest here as well. This is a simple Nginx application. So I have the manifests in the manifest directory and I have a Docker file for my Nginx application here. So let's look at the experience of installing Gitcube. Um, you need to have the Gitcube CLI. Once you have the Gitcube CLI installed, all you need to do is run the Gitcube install command. And Gitcube is now installed on the EKS cluster. Let's just take a quick look. And you'll see that the Gitcube controller and Gitcube D are now running inside the Kube system namespace. Once Gitcube is installed, we need to create a Git remote and we'll use and then we'll do a git push on that remote to deploy our manifest and the source code. So let's create a remote object on our EKS cluster. So I'm going to do git cube remote generate minus f remote.yaml. Let's call this EKS nginx and we'll deploy our work to the default namespace. This is going to use my sh key, the path for the Kubernetes manifests I'll add the registry configuration once the remote.yaml is generated. So I'm going to skip this for now. My deployment is called app. The container inside the deployment is also called app. The path to the Docker file is this and the path to the context to the Docker context for the build is also this. Um, I don't want to add another container. And so this should give us a remote.yaml. So I'll just go have a look at the remote.yaml. Um, this is what a remote.yaml looks like. And this is what we need to create on our EKS cluster. I'm going to just set up the reg registry configuration here. So that's URL. So I already have a ECR registry configured. I'm just going to take those. I'm just going to take the repository URL and add that here. And I have a secret that's already there on my EKS cluster, which is the registry secret. When I run a, when I run a git push on my computer, the Docker build that will happen on the EKS cluster, the image will get uploaded to this registry. Let's now create this remote, create minus F remote.yaml. And now let's add this git remote here. So now we can see that it's been added as a git remote as EKS nginx. And now let's just do a git push EKS nginx master. So if you notice that's applying the Kubernetes manifests and that's done the Docker build. This has happened on the EKS cluster and the app has been rolled out as well. So let's look at the services that we have. That's our service that's just gotten deployed uh, 14 seconds ago. Let's look at the external IP. So let's head to this and check if our application has gotten deployed and it's gotten deployed. So that's pointing to this. Let's make a quick change to see how the git push workflow speeds uh, deployment up. And as soon as I do a git push, I'm going to refresh this and you can see that I've made a change that I've deployed here. And so that's basically how you can set up a Heroku style workflow on your own EKS cluster in just a minute or two. Do check out Hasra slash Gitcube on GitHub and let us know what you think.